Welcome back to JSA TV Live, everyone, where we are coming to you live from the showroom floor of Yada 2024 on day one of the show here. And we're having a great time so far. We're bringing you lots of great updates from digital infrastructure leaders across the industry. And joining me right now from T5, we've got David Mettler and John Shingler. Thank you so much for stopping by. Welcome. Thank you. Well, we love working with T5 and we love having you guys stop by JSA TV whenever you can make it. Um, but just for those of us, or for the, not those of us, but those people out there who might not be familiar with T5, can you just give us a little background on what you do and how you help your customers? Yeah, sure thing, Keely. Uh, T5 develops, we construct, and we operate data centers for the most sophisticated technology companies in the world. Uh, and we've been doing it for almost two decades now. Uh, I think what's, what's interesting about our business model is that we do those services on our own properties that we own and, and we develop, uh, and we also do construction and operations at our customers' own data centers. And so we think that we, uh, with our experience and that kind of capability in the model, we, uh, we, we, we see a lot of uh, exciting opportunity ahead of us right now. Absolutely. Speaking of exciting opportunity, we were just talking about this before we went live here, and you're seeing a lot of growth, and right. there are some factors that are not just driving growth on one side of the business, but in kind of in tandem. Can That's you tell a, us about that? Absolutely. The, the, uh, the ability to integrate construction and operations is really important. If, if you build something without an understanding of how it's going to be operated, it's problematic. Or if you operate in an environment where you don't understand what's required to build in that environment, it's problematic. And, you know, John's teams, they're every day, they're managing data centers really around the world at this point, And they understand that value very well. John, I don't know if you want to comment about that. Yeah, I, I see that there's always difficulties between construction operations that hand off. Um, where we have just from coming from the background of building and then operating our own, we can take years of lessons learned into every scenario. We can also support. There's a lot of times where we would be on projects with our own construction team, supporting a customer where they bring it in and they'll we'll have T5 construction services do the construction, we'll do the operation. Um, we're able to have a smooth handoff between the two just because communications, working together for so long, understanding what's expected, understanding from our customers what they are thinking as owners, bringing it the same way. Yeah, that's it. You know, the term life cycle solutions is, is it's used a lot, but that's, I guess, at the end of the day, we have that life cycle understanding because we do it all for ourselves. And then we can extend that out to our customers and they, they get the benefit of that. It, yeah, absolutely. It's so important to be able to offer that benefit, as you say. So what are what are some of the other factors, John, that have been making people choose to work with T5? I think the biggest factor is the owner mindset we have. Our operations team, our construction team develop from our T5 sites. And we understand how to drive efficiency, how to drive value. We think about that every single day. Um, at our own sites, and we bring those same aspects to our customers. It's when we, we onboard people, it's one of the number one things we talk about is driving and getting them into our culture and our mindset. Yeah. And when you talk about just kind of meeting those needs and anticipating them and meeting them where they are, I mean, they're, the needs are changing. Like we're, we're at a conference where we're talking about advancements in AI and sustainability. So how is the team on your end adapting to make sure that you're just staying in front of what they need on their end? Technology, in my thought, is technology will always change. Yeah. You're going to see it change in every field, everywhere it's going to change. But the one thing that drives the industry and what keeps us up to date is the people. And so I think developing your team, developing the people, training them, making sure they are up to speed in what's happening, um, that's going to keep us relevant. It's the people who are going to keep us relevant forever. It's, it's making sure that you have the right people doing the right jobs and supporting your customers in the right way. That takes place above all the technology changes. Um, it's the how you drive and develop the people and the culture. And John does a really good job at that. I mean, as a leader of the biggest services arm within the business, he sets the he sets the, the standard very high, but he also is really engaged with his teams. And it, it helps to 
solidify this culture that we're very proud of. We, we think of it as kind of this magnetic culture because it attracts people uh, to, to T5 and it's because of the leadership that John does. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it's, it's exciting to see. It's exciting to watch from our end as well and just to keep up with what you guys have going on. And uh, we always enjoy having you here on JSA TV so we can keep tabs on what you're doing. Is there anything else that you're excited about coming up? Uh, well, we we uh, we did a groundbreaking of our site in Chicago last week, so we're you know we're building out that site, uh, which we're we're very excited about, uh, and we we have um, you know a couple of, of uh, significant customer wins on the construction side, which are are really uh, driving you know the, the the growth of that business line, um, and we're you know we're hopeful that we'll be able to make some announcements about those soon, uh, but they're um, they're leading to you know that that construction. Uh, customer is also asking us to operate for them. So it's kind of, you know, it's that it's at, and it's at a scale that's, that's very large too. So it's kind of like, we're seeing the, you know, the proof points at, at, at the, the kind of the highest end of the market of yeah. the, you know, the model. So that's, yeah. that's great. Like what you were saying earlier with things are not just growing on one side, but growing consistently across the business. And that's definitely uh, what we want to hear. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Well, thank you both so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed visiting us at JSA TV and here uh, at seeing all of, at um, visiting everyone else at Yada. So thank you again yeah. for stopping by. Thank you. Thank you, right. Keely. Thanks to our viewers for tuning in and stick around a lot more to come here from Yada 2024. In the meantime, everyone stay curious and stay connected.